What's up, Internet? We've sold Be Quiet's Big Boy Dark Rock Pro for a long time now. In fact, we have an unboxing video of the item from November 2019. The cooling performance of the DRP4 is excellent, but how about its smaller sibling, the Dark Rock 4? Porkit walang pro sa pangalan niya, ibig sabihin pang amateur lang ba yung DR4? Let's find out. First things first, Be Quiet sent us this item for review but had no say in what we had to say about it. The Dark Rock 4 is basically the smaller brother of the Dark Rock Pro 4. The DR4 is a single tower heatsink compared to the DRP4 which is a two tower heatsink. The DR4 only comes with one 135mm fan whereas the DRP4 has that 135mm fan as well as an additional 120mm fan. The DRP4 seems to have more of all of the good stuff, so why would you consider the Dark Rock 4? Well, because it's smaller. The sheer massiveness of the DRP4 causes a lot of headaches. Will it be compatible with my RAM? Will it be compatible with my case? We've had many a customer who wanted to buy the DRP4, but we had to tell them that it just wouldn't fit his system. So the relatively smaller size of the DR4 is great for its compatibility. The DR4 is only 160mm in height, which is 3mm shorter than the DRP4. 3mm doesn't sound like a lot, but the DR4 will fit in a lot more cases than the taller DRP4. Because the DR4 is thinner, you also don't need to worry about RAM clearance problem. Both coolers run quiet, at least based on the meta study of reviews we did. It's not practical for us to measure the decibel levels of the coolers as we film in the shop. And for those of you who have been to the shop, you know na katabi namin yung isang Escanita na paboritong daanan ng mga tricycle. So kapag maingay dito sa shop, hindi kasalanan ng CPU coolers, kasalanan ng mga tricycle. So how did the DR4 do in terms of performance? Excellent! Double digit gains versus the AMD stock cooler. We tested it in our usual setup of a Ryzen 3 3100 in a Fractal Design defined R6 case. We ran the CPU at 100% for 30 minutes and then recorded the max temperature that we got. We started at stock speeds and then overclocked it as far as it would go. At a stock speed of 3.6 GHz, the AMD stock cooler reached a max temperature of 71 degrees. The DR4 only hit 60 degrees for a massive 11 degree difference in terms of performance. At the overclock of 4.2 GHz, the stock cooler hit 82 degrees versus the 68 degrees of the DR4. That's a 14 degree difference. Excellent performance gain over the stock cooler. And finally, at the promised land of the extreme overclock of 4.4 GHz, the stock cooler is unable to give us a stable overclock at this speed. However, not all the coolers that we've tested can achieve this extreme overclock. But the DR4 accomplished it with a maximum temp of 77 degrees. Overall, very impressive results from the DR4, but we figured what the heck. We have the DR4, we have the DRP4 in stock, let's put them head to head. Sibling versus sibling, bakbakan na to. Get ready for the next battle. And so who won? For price to performance, actually the DR4 wins. At 3.6 GHz, the max temps reached by the DRP4 was exactly the same as the DR4 at 60 degrees. Same story at 4.2 GHz, max temp reached by the DR4 was 68 degrees and that's exactly the same max temp of the DRP4. Finally, the DRP4 also achieved the extreme overclock of 4.4 GHz with a max temp which was 3 degrees cooler than the DR4. So what's going on here? Our test CPU, the Ryzen 3 3100, doesn't really get very hot, which is why I think we're not seeing a very big performance difference between the DR4 and the DRP4. For the DRP4 to truly shine, we need a much hotter CPU. But our testing has been useful because if you have a more average or run-of-the-mill CPU, then you're perfectly fine with the cheaper Dark Rock 4. You don't need to spend the extra money to get the larger and bulkier DRP4, which you should only consider if you have a blazing hot and fast CPU. For most mid-range builds, the Dark Rock 4 is an excellent choice and very good value for its price. Paminsan, panalo si Bunso laban sa kuya niya. Thanks for watching.
And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwan nato. De joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.